7 days is enough to notice if a product is going to break you out or not. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, you're welcome. My name is Ruth, and I do all things beauty, skincare, and lifestyle. Please subscribe if you end up enjoying my content, like this video, drop a comment, and turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified anytime I drop a video. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be using shea butter on my face for seven days, both in my morning and my nighttime skincare routine to see how it works on my skin. Now, if you are African, especially West African, I'm sure you are familiar with shea butter because it is literally like an OG. Shea butter is an OG for the skin, which includes the face and the body. People even use shea butter to cook. People eat shea butter. That is how good it is for the body. Shea butter is gotten from the nuts of the shea tree that is very, very native and particular to West African region. Now, before I go right into the video, let's talk about few benefits of shea butter. Now, shea butter is majorly made of fatty acids. Yes, shea butter is majorly made of fatty acid. It contains oleic acid and linoleic acids, which are very, very beneficial for the skin. It also contains allantoin. Now, allantoin is very, very common in skincare ingredients these days. Allantoin helps the skin barrier. Yes, it helps the skin barrier, protect your skin, and you know, just replenish and nourishes your skin. Shea butter also helps to soften the skin, you know, it suits the skin, it promotes wound healing. Trust me, shea butter has a lot and a lot and a lot of benefits, which is why I said earlier it is an OG, it's like an OG um product, it's like an OG product. And one thing I also like about shea butter is even though it contains basically fatty acids, it is non-comedogenic, meaning it will not clog your pores. Shea butter will never clog your pores and make you break out, no matter what. It is non-comedogenic, so it is safe to use even if you have oily skin or you have um, dry skin. Even if you have um, acne-prone skin, just don't pack it into your skin. The only thing I do not like about shea butter is that it's actually quite thick and it can make your skin look greasy if you apply so much. So that's been said, we are going to be using shea butter in our skincare routine for 7 days and 7 nights and we are going to see how it works. So first of all, I want to show you guys what my skin looks like right now. I'm actually breaking out. I'm breaking out here and that's because... I'm breaking out and that's because... um. I'm using tretinoin. We're going to talk about that in another video. But yes, yeah, so my skin looks like. I hope you guys can see that. I'm using my back camera, so I really don't know how this is appearing on the screen. What do my skin looks like? <sighs> Me and hyperpigmentation is God that will solve our battle. God, only God will solve our battle. So this is my shea butter. This is my pure unrefined pure unrefined shea butter as you can see it is very very thick right? so right now i've washed my skin and i have my um toner on i'm going to be using my shea butter so just a little bit because like i said earlier the only thing i don't like about shea butter is it can be greasy so it can be greasy you don't want to use too much so this i think this should be enough yeah this should be enough I'm just going to melt it in my palm. I'm going to melt it in my palm and then rub it on my skin. Mm. I really like the smell of shea butter. Am I weird? Look at that. So after applying the shea butter, I'm going to wait a while, just a little bit, and then I'll apply my sunscreen. After applying my sunscreen, I'll use my OG oil control powder just to control that oil so I'll not be looking like a glazed donut, literally. I think I'm going to give you guys an update like after a few hours to see what my skin is looking like. Does it make my skin? even oilier 
or not hi guys so it's about five hours later and my face isn't looking too oily or greasy so my fear that the shea butter is going to make me look too oily has been solved so now i know that with just the right amount i'm not going to be looking very very greasy towards the end of the day so yes it's the next morning guys like actually this is day two morning of day two and i used shea butter last night and this is my face no grease nothing i literally woke up to like almost a matte face no grease but be careful and note that you are not going you're not supposed to use a lot of shea butter because i feel like using a lot is now what is going to make your face look greasy all day so just use minimal amount of shea butter and i think for this one week i'm not using my whole full skincare routine normally i have um days where i use retinoin i have days where i use my hydroquinone but i'm not using my whole full skincare routine for the seven days i'm just going to use my face wash my toner and my shea butter just to see how it improves my skin and how things go um this is just the first day i don't think i would see any observ observable or noticeable change in my skin but let's see how we go so this is day two i'm going to take my bath do my skincare and use my shea butter again and i'll report again later when i can Hey guys so it is the seven the last day of our little observation here yeah, the last day of using shea butter on my face to see how my skin reacts to it yes yeah, so today is the last day i'm going to be telling you guys everything that i've noticed from using shea butter on my face right from the very first day up till today the only time my routine was a little bit different was on days where i needed to exfoliate so i exfoliate my face twice in a week and i use my um exfoliating cleanser so on those days on those days i use my um exfoliating cleanser instead of my normal cleanser and after using my exfoliating cleanser i go in my toner and then i go in with my shea butter so as someone that have sensitive skin when i wanted to start this little observation this little skincare observation i was kind of skeptical like i said i have a sensitive skin using just cleanser toner and shea butter as my moisturizer i thought that my skin might you know flare up a little bit or might get a little bit of reaction or anything but sincerely i didn't get any of that i sincerely did not look at my skin this is the seven this is the seven and if you know that if you know you know this has been there literally since day one so it is not even shea butter that caused this this has been there since day one so i didn't break out i didn't notice anything sincerely i didn't notice, i didn't it didn't make me sweat more it didn't make me look more oily which was my fear initially but that was literally my only fear i wasn't scared of breaking out because i wasn't scared that shea butter was going to make me darker because i'm going to use my sunscreen you get i'm going to use my sunscreen shea butter is not going to make you darker trust me only if you are a dark person normally that is when you might get a little bit dark not because of the shea butter just because you've stopped some things in your skincare routine now to my verdict final verdict am i going to recommend you using shea butter as your moisturizer hmm yes and no yes if you are not the type of person that will get bored of using shea butter because i feel like at the long run you might actually get bored of using shea butter if you remember when i showed the texture of shea butter shea butter is quite solid so you have to start breaking it except you want to whip it yes except you want to whip it okay but even at that you might just get bored of using that shea butter as your moisturizer every time and like i said i didn't use shea butter with other of my skincare products like my serum yes i didn't use it with my serum i didn't use it with my tretinoin and all that so you might not want to use shea butter with those other products i don't know if it is okay to use but if you are someone that do not have a problem skin if you don't have a problem skin you don't have any skin concern you are very you are blessed you're one of people that are blessed with good skin then you can go ahead and use shea butter you just 
wash your face and go in with your shea butter and your sunscreen and you are good to go but if you are someone like me that have all the skincare concern in this life <laughs> and you have to use other active ingredients like other serums to cater for this and cater for that then you might not just want to use shea butter alone you might want to get a real moisturizer to moisturize your skin you get yes yeah, so the takeaway and the everything that I noticed from using shea butter on my face for seven days is shea butter is great. You can decide that you want to use it if you will not get bored of using it every day. Also, if you don't have any skin concern, then you can definitely use shea butter. It is not going to break you out. It's not going to darken your skin. It's not going to make you look more oily, especially if you have an oily skin. So yes, that is all. That's everything I noticed and I observed about using shea butter on my skin for seven days. So guys, yes, I hope you enjoyed this and please don't forget to subscribe for more skincare, beauty, lifestyle videos from me and also drop a comment, like this video and share the video. Thank you guys for watching and I'm going to see you in my next one.